G'day folks, RACV's Handy Andy back again with another tip for those common problems around the home. Now I'm guessing every single one of you has had a block drain at some stage. Basin, shower, toilet, sometimes it's the kitchen sink. Well, did you know it's a problem we help a lot with at RACV, but it can be a really easy fix. Here's some tips to help you out. The most common way of clearing a blockage is with one of these, a handheld plunger available at any hardware store, and I do recommend gloves and a pair of safety glasses whenever you're using one of these. Works on a simple principle, water does not compress, so when used correctly, every kilo I push down here, it's gonna push on that blockage further down the line, hopefully breaking it up and moving it on. Make sure the water in the sink is cold before attempting to plunge. For a plunger to be effective, we have to ensure there's little to no air trapped within the plunger because air will compress and we'll end up just pumping air and not placing any pressure on the actual blockage. Push down slowly on the plunger and you will notice air bubbles escaping. As you release the downward force on the plunger, it will draw water back up inside itself and you're ready to plunge. Plunging is best done in short sharp strokes of force but not strain, as though shaking something loose, which is exactly what we're trying to do. Plunge in five second bursts, checking in between to see if you've been successful. If while plunging you feel there is little resistance, this may be because other fixtures such as the bath are connected to the same drain, meaning every time you plunge all you're doing is forcing water out of another opening. To combat this, have someone else hold a plug over the other openings. Remember, for plunging to be successful we must be attempting to compress water. Well there you go folks, hopefully your block drain woes are gone, but if they're not, you can call the RACV's qualified plumbers knowing that their specialised equipment was needed.